Well, just kind of making this video. You know, I was looking over the last week that we've had here, the chain of events, as it were, with things that have gone on, how they're not going to prosecute uh, <laughs> voter intimidation type uh, racist, and how the government's going to pretty much not prosecute a, uh, a black on white hate crime. They're definitely, definitely pushing, I mean, if, if, if you look at this stuff, they're definitely pushing for a race war. Only, only a fool would even, even an ostrich would have to deny that. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. They'll more than likely get it. How they're 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 firing firing up one extreme sector within a group to uh, agitate certain things within the say black community. It's not that <coughs> they're not all like that, people. Man, don't don't make that mistake. Now, granted, it would be hard to tell the difference. You know, is it good or bad? You know, because you're not going to know. And they want those lines blurred. They want, they want you to think that way. You know, uh, how can you tell the difference between an American who happens to have a different uh, shade to his skin tone than, say, me, and uh, one of these? Ooga Booga Zula fuckers, man. You know, Zulu, whatever the hell they are, types. I don't know. You know, if, if they're dressed up in, in the uh, stuff, does that make them bad? Well, what if they're dressed up in some kind of little uniform? Does that make them bad? You know. <clears throat> they want those lines blurred. Now, I, I've been checking out the, the, the stuff on the uh, uh, riots. <laughs> that happened in uh, Oakland, you know, I guess today and yesterday or whatever. And it was actually quite, quite pleased to see that the majority of the people of Oakland didn't fall for this bullshit trap, you know. So that 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 was a good thing, you know. And then get on to critiquing what was looted. Well, I will leave that alone and. <laughs> but then once again man like I said no worries here uh, but you know <laughs> they, they're going to want to push it they're going to want to push it uh, and what you guys don't realize is what happened with that private army shit that he was talking about you know before he got elected now, in case you don't realize, for those of you that do not understand, when you take a civilian, just a regular old munch off the street, just a regular old guy, right, and you put him through basic training, that's two months, okay, and then for like infantry school, you get another two more months, maybe three, tacked onto that, five months, okay, five months okay how long has he been in office he got that bailout money right away okay did all of it go to the bankers do we know where that money went could be going to finance an army now, all of a sudden you got a uh, koofy foofy zulu guy you know uh, getting let out of jail by fucking Eric the piece of shit holder you know and then you got the, the full full weight of the Attorney General's Office of the United States saying, oh no, we're not even going to touch them. They can do whatever the fuck they want. They will become more emboldened. That's just natural. That's just natural. Now, had uh, Bush, you know, one or two, did that for like some kind of white racist motherfucker, they would, of course, press the issue. That's human nature. It follows a very logical course. So... They're going to get more emboldened, and they probably do have secret armies. Where are they training? They could have trained. Do you guys have any idea how many of our military bases have been closed down? Are they doing it? I don't know. 
but he was talking about it. You don't hear about it, you know. You figure one basic training battalion, which where I went to basic training, they had two or three basic training battalions operating at the same time, you know, in different phases, obviously. But, you know, they were cranking out, oh, shit, you know, 1,500 of us, saying, you know, two months for basic, because I was kind of in the, caught up in the whole, yeah, no point in explaining it to you. I went to one place for basic, another place for AIT, and that's... Fucking, I'm not even going to get into more to it with you fucking retards with that. Okay? So, in two months, you can have a basically trained soldier. In another four months, man, they're probably okay at doing, uh, say, urban-type situation. You know what I mean? You can get them trained for urban combat in a controlled environment, no problem, in four or five months. You know? And then OJT after that. So... He's been in office, what, 18 months now? Do the math. You know, how many battalions could they be training? I, I don't know. That'd be a nice number to know, wouldn't it? But it would not be out of, out of the ordinary or, or, or a giant leap to say that they have created maybe a brigade level ele uh, element. You know, why did the IRS buy all these weapons? You know, you, got, you guys know all this shit. Where do, what's the IRS need fucking M4s? And remember when the, the other people bought off all that 40 Smith ammo last year? Well, what the fuck you need 4 million rounds of 40 Smith ammo? Okay, because the U.S. Army don't use 40 Smith. You know, there's some, you know, most of it's 9mm with that piece of shit fucking M9. And there are a few select units, blah, 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 that still use the 45. But it's very fucking rare. Okay, they're not buying millions of rounds. Now, if it was 9mm, you can see them buying it. If it was, uh... uh 223 or I'm sorry 5.56 bullshit fucking pea shooter fucking thing you could understand that but 40 Smith okay you know and, and different departments have bought different weapons it just doesn't make sense you know what I mean so they could potentially you know be at this uh I don't know what the hell is it voter thing maybe the, are they gonna pull something then I don't know I'm not saying they will. I'm not saying they won't. I'm saying he's had enough time to... I mean, realistically, if they were pushing it hard, that motherfucker could be sitting on top of a division, baby. No problem. No problem. If he was training people. Now, how would they keep that quiet? I don't know. But he's the one that wanted to create his private army only answerable to him. So my question is this. If you believe half the shit that's been said on here, half, for the last, or, or, okay, if you believe 10% of the shit, 10% of the shit, all of it, you know, I'm taking all of it from everywhere for the last, I don't know, two, three years, what have you done within your life to reflect your belief? Now, if you don't have shit, you know, at least some shit together or some kind of plan, then I, I say bullshit, man, you don't believe a goddamn thing, you're just up here running your mouth. You, know, you may not, nobody, nobody that I know is as prepared as they wish they were. Nobody can. But you do the best you can. You may do with what you got. So if you realistically believe 10% of this shit, have you, within your own life, in your own circumstances, done the best you can to be where you need to be? Something to think about. As far as the magical Obama army, it could be there. Could be could very well be and they'd be prosecuted oh, nobody would prosecute him man nobody look at the mistakes he's made as president it, they're actually not mistakes he, these are on purposes all these on purposes that he's done look at the African countries and look at what the result of these on purposes of being done to the economy result in you, those are tangible things you know okay you know you got to look it up it's in for a bumpy ride people